guys are welcome to my channel so uh today i'll be doing a live pregnancy test um i recently had a baby and i don't know i'm so scared i'm really really scared guys my doctor warned me about this when i had my child i was about to leave the hospital she told me that i need to get um uh what's it called um iud but which i objected <sighs> I can't imagine myself going back to tell her that I'm pregnant after a few months of giving birth. CS for that matter. And she even warned me. No. <laughs> and she even warned me that before I should before I would start thinking of conceiving again, you should at least I should give my baby like a complete one year before thinking of conceiving again. Hey God. See so last week I've been feeling this, um, I've been having these funny symptoms. Like something similar to the symptoms I had when I had when I was pregnant of my first baby, and I talked to my husband about it. He suggested I would go to hospital, but I don't want to go to hospital to face that my doctor. I can't, I can't imagine going there to tell her that I want to do pregnancy tests after all her one. <laughs> after all her warnings and her advice, so I want to do it. I want to first of all do it at home, then. I'll be confident, like even if it turns out positive, I will be sure I'll be I'll prepare myself <laughs> to answer whatever query she's gonna she's going to throw at me. So um so the symptoms I'm having is some kind of similar to what I had when I I was pregnant of my daughter. I was feeling this uh, last week I was feeling very um nauseous. Like I was, I was having this nauseous feeling. In fact, to a point that I, I kind of, I felt, I felt like throwing up, but I didn't throw up at the end of the day. Like where I, I think I, I don't know what maybe because of what I ate. I just want to believe that it's what I ate. I don't want to believe that I'm pregnant. I, I don't want to. I just don't want to. So I'll start wasting your time. I'm going to be doing the, the, to the macamda. I'm going to be doing the pregnancy test live on camera. Like, Jesus Christ, help me. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's get started. So, guys, I'm going to be doing this uh, test in my laundry area. My baby is currently sleeping. I should have done this in the bathroom, but anything I do now, anything I do in that bathroom is going to wake her up, and I don't want that. I have a lot of things to do in this house. So, let me just do it in this, my laundry area. So... I've got my test, um, my PT kit here. Why I'm so scared is that um, I saw my period three months after I had my baby. And ever since then, I've not seen it again. Like, ah, guys, I'm so, so scared. And I've been active. <laughs> and I've been active, okay? So, I'm so, so scared. I don't want to believe that I'm pregnant, seriously. I just don't want to believe that. So, uh, it has this uh, what is it? What is this called? A uh, pipette to get your sample. So I have my sample here. I'm going to drop it. I don't know if you can see it in this sample area. Then it said you should leave it. This is supposed to be an instant. This is supposed to give you an instant result. Let's see. The one I used when I was pregnant of my first child is that when you drop it, you just leave it for like a minute or so, then you come back and check. They didn't give any instructions, so let me just use, uh, let me just do it the way I've, I've always done it. So I have my sample in this pipette, so I'm going to drop it in the sample area. So I'm going to drop like two drops, uh, three drops. Oh God, I'm panicking. God, I'm panicking. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So guys, this is after one minute, and let's see, 
it's showing <laughs> it's showing only one line i don't know if you guys can see it it's showing only one line thank god, god Funny how um, I'm scared of getting pregnant. I remember some months back when I've not had my baby, I used to pray that I get pregnant by all means. Like whenever I'm checking that, um, what is it called? Whenever I'm doing the test, I'm always praying that it should come out positive. It should come out positive. It should go. <laughs> but here I am praying that it should come out negative. It should come out. This life no balance. But you know what? We move. We are not ready for another baby now. Whenever we are ready, we we'll continue from where we stop. But for now let's enjoy our life <laughs> okay guys so i'm so happy like i'm so so happy that this didn't come out uh, positive as i thought maybe the symptoms i'm having is due to food reaction or maybe it's not sometimes you can your hormone can be messed up besides i'm still breastfeeding i believe that my hormone is not balanced yet i guess that's why i'm having that um those uh symptoms but seriously the symptoms was was really strong and coupled with the fact that i was not seeing my this thing i was not seeing my i wasn't seeing my period and uh, when i made my research i i found out that sometimes after you've after you've given birth that it's sometimes your period doesn't come regularly as it used to be that it will take a while for it to balance so all those things made me to uh be scared that i'm pregnant i might be pregnant but now that i've done the test my mind is relaxed i'm relaxed and i'm so happy that it came out negative so that is just it guys that is just it um i just finished filming a video with my baby i i i filmed a video on what she eats in a day and i decided to do this test now because i've been scared to do the test even even when my husband is telling me i should go to hospital and do some and do blood test i've been so scared but now that i've done the test in the house and i know that is negative my mind is so relaxed and i'm grateful to god for that and that is just it so guys you guys saw the pt test it came out negative and i'm so happy for that i'm so grateful to god um i would have been so disappointed with myself if it was positive reason being that i'm not ready for another baby at least not for now i'm still healing and i went through trauma having my my first baby and i don't want to uh go that go through that traumatic experience at least not for now let me heal completely before thinking of getting pregnant again so that will be the end of today's video i hope you enjoy watching if you do do not forget to subscribe to our channel like and share for more videos and see you in my next one thank you